Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly power up and power down phantom powered microphones. Uh, for whatever reason, if you never learned this, now is a great time. It's a very important technique to know and understand how and when to do it right so that you don't damage microphones. Let's check it out. Okay, so phantom power. Uh, phantom power is a pretty big issue, especially if you're doing it wrong. It can mean that you're damaging your stuff, and uh, I don't want you to do that. So um, really, all you have to worry about is when you're plugging or unplugging something, uh, is there phantom power on or off? You want it to be off. Uh, so if you're plugging in a microphone, you ask yourself, you have a habit of doing this, is Hmm, is phantom power off? Because it should be. So walk into wherever your preamps are and just go off, 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 okay, off, off, okay, off and off. Okay, good. Everything looks good. Um, this would also be true if, say, you're plugging something in and the preamp is off still, like it's your first thing of that day, and you realize that once I turn on my preamps, power will be applied to the mic. Oh, I may not want to do that. You know, I'll, I'll look to see like, oh, the switch is actually pushed in for phantom power. I'll go and unswitch that and then I'll turn on the mic pre. Uh, so here's kind of a sequence is uh, once you decide that you want to use either a small diaphragm or a large diaphragm condenser mic that uses phantom power, then uh, go ahead, check that phantom power is off at the preamp that you'll be using. Make sure that you plug it into the right preamp and then plug in the mic. So you're plugging in a microphone into a preamp that does not have phantom power on. It is off, okay? Now from here, go ahead, apply phantom power with the volume all the way down and give it a minute or so. Uh, it's best just to have the mic fully powered just to make sure that the mic is operating at kind of a low power. I don't know if it damaged it, but that's what I try to do. It's not the end of the world if you can't do this, but that's what I kind of try to do, right? Uh, go ahead and use the mic, and when you're done with the mic, or if you decide, I don't like this sound, I want to try something else, do the sequence in reverse. So shut off phantom power, wait a minute to two minutes to make sure the phantom power drains out. And this is key. It actually takes a few minutes to really a few moments, I should say, to actually get rid of the power that it's supplying to the mic. So if you wait only, say, 20 seconds, then you plug something else back in, and that, that mic cable actually is carrying just a little bit of power still. So it's important to make sure that you allow the phantom power to drain completely down, and then you unplug and plug in something else new. Um, a few notes about other types of mics. Okay, in the in the dynamic mic category, there is no use for phantom power. Uh, so you have ribbon mics, um, which are like the passive ribbons that are very fragile. They don't like phantom power. Um, I believe I want to say I've turned phantom power on to one of the mics. It didn't hurt the mic, but it can if if you're not careful. If you have a bad mic cable, for example. Um, it'll destroy the mic. So best to just leave it off, avoid phantom power for passive ribbon mics. Um, and also field coil dynamic mics. That's the other category of dynamics. And um, those are like your SM57s, SM58s, uh, Beta 52s, E604s, MB421s. All those are passive creatures of sound collection. And those don't need phantom power. Uh, they probably won't get harmed, but you really don't need it. Um, so I would leave it off for those as well. Uh, if you have a uh, an interface that like is kind of a bank thing or a mixer that turns phantom power for like several channels at once, um, that's something to consider. Um, it's not going to hurt those dynamics, um, but just don't be plugging stuff in as that's hot. Okay, let it drain for a minute or two, then plug and unplug, and that's that's really key. It's just ask yourself when you plug in your mics, is there phantom power on this channel or is there not? You don't want any power whatsoever and just remember that it takes a minute to drain.